Hey everyone, um, welcome to my latest installment of problems with my car. For those of you that follow my videos, you'll be going, what the fuck? This is still going on? Yes, it is. After months and months, the problems with my car are worse than ever and it is still going on. For those of you who don't follow my videos, let's do a little recap of the history of my car in just a few seconds. So back in June uh, 27th, I think it was, 2013, I got me a Porsche 911, a car that I'd been saving for for five years. You know, I'm not a rich asshole that buys Porsches every day. I may be an asshole, but I'm not a rich one. So it had taken me a long time to save for this car and get it exactly the way I wanted. And you know, when I got it delivered, I was delighted with it. It's a fantastic car. However, unbeknownst to me, maybe because I speak funny or something, um, Porsche decided to add a few optional extras to the car. Um, and I keep discovering them every day I drive them. It started out with uh, the backing sensor not working, and then the car wouldn't start, and these are some great features. Uh, and then uh, we got the windows started rolling down on their own and making funny noises. Then the exterior mirrors started rolling down on their own. And then it escalated to a really fun feature where when you went over a bump, all the dashboard and all of the computers would go out um, and the car would be filled with smoke and then uh, a new feature was uh, when I took the car for a long drive an hour or more I'd get to the end and the battery would be flat uh, and then the car started breaking down on the uh, highway and the breakdowns were fantastic you know the engine would cut out the gears would lock all sorts of error messages and things would come up you know, I'd be stuck out in the rain, you know, it, you know, it really adds something to your weekend. Um, and then, of course, we started getting the smoke coming out of the passenger side door. Um, so, you know, Porsche have tried to fix all these problems. The car's been back uh, to remove these fantastic features seven times now, um, with over 60 days in the service department, and quite an impressive array of parts replaced. If you have a look at the list, scrolling away there, did you spot it? Yes, they replaced the horn. The one fucking thing that does work in this car. Anyway, um, after getting all these things replaced and finding, um, to their credit, they did find some stuff. They found um, some frayed wires in, in, in that door that looked a little burnt out and had been shorting off um, some of the, uh, the panels or, or the, uh, the chassis. Um, they felt confident that everything will be fine and Porsche Cars North America were going to offer me a package, you know, to try and keep the car because they were so confident after all of this, this time that they were going to, you know, the car's going to be fine. However, I've only had it back a few days and already we've got some, some new features. Um, take a look at the film that I took today. So today is Tuesday the 15th of April and it's raining pretty hard outside and one of the great things that happens, hang on I'll pull over the car here, when it rains in this car is down here, if you look under this mat here, you get accumulation of water. You have to ignore the, um, the missing panel here, the car's been taken apart so many times that the panels fall off and I just throw them in the back. Uh, various bits and pieces are sort of rattling and falling off now. Um, and I don't know, there must be a short from that water getting in as well because various um, error messages and it seems to be different ones each time pop up and different uh, components fail. So uh, that's, a, that's a neat feature. So yes, that is an awesome feature. You know, I've got a little pool in my car now. And you know, I shouldn't complain because I'm the only one with a, pool, with a little pool in my 911. But I do complain because you know, I'm a dick like that. I want a car that works. I'm just unreasonable, I guess. Anyhow, so where are we? Um, the, up till now, Porsche keep offering me packages to keep the car, but because the car's never working, really, that's not an option. And even the manager of customer satisfaction or customer relations or whatever his title is that I deal with every day that 
it makes me so satisfied that I just want to poke my eye with a hot fork. Um, even he admits that we're past keeping the car. You know, it's either replace the car or give me my money back. So they've been trying to come up with a package, you know, a, a package which is a, a percentage of the, of the purchase price of the car based on what they think I would get in arbitration. And I say, no, you give me my money back or you give me a like for like car. That's the only fair thing to do here. Um, and they've got to the point where they're starting to make little thinly veiled threats towards me if I don't take this package and take it to arbitration. And I'm, oh my God, what fucking century are you living in here? What country is this that you make threats to a customer? What is wrong with you people? Anyhow, so instead I make a little video, you know, help smooth things along, let everyone know what's going on. And hopefully they will come to their senses. So this is really a message to Porsche Cars North America. Stop jerking me around and give me my money back so I can buy another car and then you can get rid of me. You know, you are sick of me making videos. You're sick of hearing my stupid accent. You can make me go away. Just do what you should have done months ago and buy back my car. It's not that hard. Instead, you guys just drag it out month after month, trying to save a few thousand dollars here or there by jerking me around. It's just ridiculous. So, you know, um, what I ask of everyone else is spread this video around, put it on social media, help me out if you want to, or don't if you don't. Um, and if I get a resolution, hopefully I can let you guys know what it is. And if not, I'm sure more entertaining things will happen to my car and uh, I'll put them on the video and uh, you guys can, uh, can enjoy, enjoy my suffering. Anyhow, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you get an update soon. Bye.